Water bending, the best element. I don't care. Yeah, water bending. Fight me in the comments. All right, now that I've made you guys angry, yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a new video today for you guys. We are gonna be ranking Avatar: The Last Airbender characters. I hope you guys are excited because I am. Thank you guys so much for the support on the last tier list. It was great. Uh, before the video starts, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for all the support you guys always show. It really does mean a lot to me. Leave a comment down below what you guys want me to tier list next and what your favorite element is. My favorite is water bending, if you couldn't tell. But personally, it doesn't matter because water is the best. All right, let me stop. Let's get right into the tier list. All right, today we're doing S to D. So we're just gonna start off with the boy himself, the Avatar, the last airbender himself, Aang. He's going in S. I wanted to like rank one of the characters pretty crazy, but I, I don't think I can do that to Aang. He's just a straight S. I, I can't even like it. Appa. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 100% S tier. S tier Appa. All right, Azula. Oh boy. See, I don't want to keep putting everyone in S but she is at least, at the very least starting out, she is an A. The very least starting out, she is an A because blue fire, that's all I gotta say. That was, when I was a kid, that was the craziest thing for me to see, blue fire. I was like, oh my gosh. That's um, that's their friend from the Southern Water Tribe. He's, he's cool. He, he's a B, you know, he's not terrible. He's a B, he's a B, he's a B. Cabbage Man. Combustion Man had a really cool appearance, but all the Combustion Menders, they just, they don't last very long, do they? He got destroyed by a boomerang, big up to Sokka, but yeah, no. This Brody was the cause of me wanting to skip this arc entirely. I'm so sorry, he's going to do the sand bending is a, a very cool concept. Him, he can stay down there at the bottom. I don't care. Gyata the boy, A, a tier, A tier, took on almost an entire army by himself. Hakoda, you, you know what, Hakoda, I'm a, I'm a B. I'm gonna be as truthful as I possibly can. I know I just said I love the waterbenders. I love waterbending. He's not a waterbender, but still, he's a C. And my reasoning being, he just wasn't there. <laughs> he was there for the war and everything, but he really did just leave his entire village as kids. And yeah, his whole justification is, I gotta go fight the war. But I'm just like, I don't know, man. I found him like a cool character, cool character design. But I can't rank you based off your character design and like personality. Just what he did, I'm so sorry, he's a, he's a C. All right, this, this old lady gave me terror dreams. I watched this episode in the middle of the night for the one, for the first time, and that was by far one of the worst experiences I've, ex I've had in my life. She's she's a B because she's she was just that scary. I'm so sorry. That whole episode was so creepy. If y'all know what if y'all know what I'm talking about, the the origins of bloodbending, man. This this whole concept ruined so many things in the future for them. Uh, my boy, the Earthbender, you know, for, for breaking your dad out of prison, you get to be a B. There is nowhere else on this list Iroh can go except S. I can't, I can't do Iroh wrong, man. He has to be S. Look at the, look at the competition he's up with too, man. My gosh, Cabbage Man, he, he belongs right next to him. Jong Jong. Jong Jong was cool, but he started annoying me halfway through, you know, training Aang. Like, not letting Aang try to be a fighter bear. Like, I know he's trying to warn him about firebending, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give him A because he's a local character. This Brody can go to D. I'm so, you tell me you're gonna justify destroying an entire earthbending village for the sake of the war. Yeah, no, D, I don't care. Uh, I forget her name off the top of my head. A. What's her name, Judy? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I hated Judy. <laughs> Creepy arc as well. She was a top tier character. You know what, her and her, um, I forget the name of her animal, but they top tier pairing right there. <laughs> Katara, a lot of you might have different opinions on Katara. This Katara right here, everything she went through, I'm putting her at A. She's going to A. One of my favorite characters personally. The reason why I like Waterbender so much is because of Katara, so. Boomy, my boy Boomy's going in B. That's a C, what? <laughs> My boy Boomy's going in B. Um, great Earthbender, amazing king, but he just he's just a B. I think this is Kiyoshi. And if it's Kiyoshi, yes. I ain't never seen someone crash out better than Kiyoshi. I'm so sorry, like he epitome of crash out. I'm so sorry. I hated this boy with the life of me. I don't even remember his name. I just hated him. I hated him so much. Longshot's cool. He's not a, a B tier character, but like for his name alone, he gets to go and seek. Longshot is such a cool name. All right, yep, yeah. A, A, 100%. Yep, honestly, I had a crush on her when I was a kid. I'm not gonna lie to you. This boy is an op. I don't care. You, you could have destroyed the Earth Kingdom alone with your invention of the hot air balloon. Momo is an S tier character. Oh, Momo is by far one of my 
favorite characters in the entire franchise. Momo being by Aang's side on like almost every event was so cool to me. Like even when he fought Ozai, Momo was the only one there. Like he's always just there on the side helping people. So I love Momo. Ozai is a good villain, but he's only an A for me. Here's here's my theory. Y'all let me know what you think about this. Without Sozin's comet, Aang could have beat him. It was like a 50-50 battle between Ozai and Aang in the last fight. And yes, Aang did need the Avatar state. But if it was Aang versus Oza in a 1v1 with the, the one year experience Aang had, I, I personally believe Aang would have won. Cause he was holding his own against Ozai with a comet with no Avatar state. So that's just my feeling. Y'all let me know what you think. If Aang could have beaten Ozai in a one-on-one -on -one without Sosa comet. Master Paku, he he got better over time. He's a good waterbender. He's going to be tier. I know, we all know how he started, but how he ended is fine. So he's going to be. Greatest swordsman of all time. 100, you know, I'm putting him in A. That socket episode was amazing, so I, I'm putting him in A. Avatar Roku is by far the worst avatar I've seen in my life. Brother basically mastered all bending forms to do nothing. Did absolutely nothing but die to a volcano. I just, D. Sokka, my boy, you held your own against so many people. Your meteorite sword was the best. You're going right next to your sister in A tier. This is Sozin. He is a terrible person. Let's 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 define that right now. Sozin is a terrible, <laughs> colonizing scumbag of a person. But you know what? He got stuff done. <laughs> I can't even lie. He got stuff done, and that's crazy to say for a colonizer, man. Let me let me not be crazy. He's going to be. I'm now remembering he got rocked by Roku in that one fight, so he got left hanging with almost no building left. So you know what he's going to be. You know, what? I'll I'll be fair. I'll be fair. In my opinion, which is a hundred percent completely biased. I had a crush on Suki. Okay, I can't even I can't even hide it. I can't hide it. So she's going to S. Plus, remember when she went against Azula? That was by far one of the greatest things I've ever seen. No, she S. Yep. The Boulder. Okay, you know. He's going in B for Boulder. The greatest earthbender of all time is going to S. I mean, Toph was by far one of the best characters in the entire series, man. So I'm putting her in S. Ty Lee was cool. Chi, uh, chi blocking or, or her hand to hand fighting and chi blocking, like man, that, taking away people's bending through just like punching the right points. A, perfectly A. Y'all may not understand why I'm gonna do what I'm about to do, but she's going to D tier. Let, let me cook. Let me explain, let me, let me season this for a second. The reason why Azula is so bad, one of the main reasons is because this woman never said the words I love you to her own daughter. I know she loved Zuko and we all love Zuko, but if she just would have showed like an ounce more of care for her child, man, maybe we could have like avoided a lot more fights. Maybe it wouldn't have been so hard on the Avatar gang. I know it all had to be done, but she was, I just, I don't like her, man. I, I know a lot of people might sympathize with her because they didn't actually paint her out as a victim, which she, she is, but she also hurt her own child. So she's going to be just for that, man. I'm, I don't care. <laughs> I hated this little bird too. This, I don't even want to say much about, I hated him. The moon spirit. Let me stop. <laughs> uh, UA, mm, UA was cool. I mean, she, she didn't do anything wrong. A, maybe B, she didn't have that much time. So I'm gonna give her B just because she wasn't in the story for long important to the story but wasn't in the story for long so she's gonna be Zhao is he almost conquered the north so i might i might give him c that boy got manipulated by ang in a fight one time and i just i'm never gonna let him live it down this is the moment y'all all been waiting for i know this is some of your favorite character i know it i know it too he could go anywhere he could go s a maybe b some of y'all looking at me crazy because he's going down the list at c let me cook <laughs> Let me cook. No, let me stop messing with y'all. No, he's going to ass. I'm just playing with y'all. Zuko is my, far, my favorite character in the whole series. I love his character development. Y'all know how he is already, man. What he had to go through. He's ass. Uh, the parallels between him and Aang. Beautiful. He's not going in the bottom. He's going to ass. All right. So let me stop, let me stop messing with y'all for a bit. All right. Let me see if there's anyone I would change. It's crazy how they made this much of a story with these many characters. Yeah, I, I think that's the end of my list. I'm not gonna lie to you. I tried figuring out who I'd change, who I'd fix, but I think everyone's in a perfect spot for me. Y'all let me know what you think, because if I put someone like, uh, I don't know, Boomy and B and he should be S for you, let me know. Get get angry at me, because I don't care. <laughs> But no, I think this is the end of the list. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, let me know what kind of tier list you guys want me to do in the future. Leave a comment down below. Leave a like as well. I really appreciate all the support you guys always show. And yeah, I'll see you guys next Tuesday for the next tier list. See ya.